Can I ask you about the credit markets? I, because Jeffrey Gumblock in his Just Markets encouraging people to go into the collateralized loan obligation. My last guest in the last hour says, yes, you're going to get paid. You get paid handsomely for going into higher yielding assets and those spreads will continue to compress. Is that a theme that, that, that you would espouse for 2020? By the way, Gunlock does warn um, of illiquidity risk and there was a huge massive trade on one of the big ETFs yesterday. So uh, that's a whole other story. But CLOs and reaching for yield, will that dominate 2020, Jim? So, so listen, I, I think the way credit markets have evolved in the last five to 10 years because of uh, a lot of central bank liquidity is they've become very expensive, but they keep getting more expensive. And, and so, you know, I, I think the call has to be, if you don't think there's a recession, if you don't think there's a default cycle, then you have to be in credit, even though spreads are very tight and and our base case is we're not going to have a recession we're going to have a very reactive fed that will cut rates pretty quickly if things slow down so it probably will be an okay mm. year for credit i would argue that it's probably going to be a better year for equities but but yeah credit could have a good year given what we're looking at okay so a better year for equities than credit um what about equities versus bonds given that both did well in 2019 yeah i think it's definitely going to be a better year of equities versus bonds government because bonds, yeah. government bonds because you know listen uh, the story of last year was uh, a weak global manufacturing cycle that should have brought equities down but didn't happen because central banks were easing. Mm. And our view is that central banks are going to be increasingly reluctant to ease policy from here. Uh, so government bond markets are, are flat to down probably uh, in 2020.